Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through one of the most popular problem that is nothing but cannibals problem. So basically, cannibals are nothing but some kind of dangerous creatures. Okay. So we are the question will be given in this way. We are having three cannibals and three missionaries. So basically, if the number of cannibals is more than missionaries, so cannibals will be eating the missionary. Even two, two later. So if they are three, three it's matching, it's fine. Two, two, it's okay. One, one, it's okay. So there should be exact number. Or the missionaries should be, sorry, yeah, the missionaries should be more than the cannibals. So this is also possible. Whereas this situation is not possible. This is possible. This is not possible. It will eat. This is also not possible. It will eat. So like that. Fine. So that's what the question will be given really lengthy. We will be just getting irritated while reading the question only. So let us go through it really faster. So three missionaries and three cannibals want to cross a river. So there is a boat. So we need to travel this missionaries and cannibals from one side to another side so here we are having a particular boat so let us assume this cap as a boat okay so on board only two guys can sit so there is a boat on their side of the river that can be used either one or two persons so only one or two persons can sit so how should they use the boat to cross the river in such a way that the cannibal never outnumber the missionary so from this word only you should understand the cannibal number should never be greater than the missionary on either sides of the river so it is not on the shore side only it should be on the both the sides guys on the start and the end so in can if a cannibal outcomes the missionaries then missionaries the missionaries then missionaries the missionaries will be eaten so how can they cross the bridge so in this i'll be just going through the final conclusion ai system guys because again discussing initial stages and again discussing all those things will be an issue. So let us directly jump into the normal problem so that previously we have discussed the problem of water jar in a step by step way. So if you are having any confusions you can just watch it and come here guys. So that you will be understanding the way of how I am teaching. Fine? Okay. So initially let us give some trick or some particular letters for each and everything guys. So M will be the number of machines, C will be the number of cannibal and B will be the boat. Whether it is a Sorry, whether it is on this side or on this side, fine. Okay. So by using this, we will be representing the whole problem, guys. So that will be clear for you. So this is used to represent the status of the river banks. Okay. So the start initially at start, how what guys? Three missionaries are on the on the bank one, and three cannibals are on the bank one, and our boat is also on the bank one. So everything is on the bank one, whereas zero 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 on the bank two. Fine okay so what will be your any state so i have just written in this way guys because like in the previous if i write m c it will be a bit confusion so just now write in this way so i have just written in this way okay so here remember that always a plus d should be 3 b plus e should be 3 so that's nothing but our missionary number should not decrease or the cannibal number should not decrease okay and there is one more condition that always always on any side what is A guys? A is missionary, right? So always on any side, the missionaries should be greater than the cannibals. So that's the main condition which we have discussed, guys. So our goal requirement will be in this way. So 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 1. So you need to move the shuffle these two both things, guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay. So in this problem, totally we are having 10 different possibilities, guys. So, 10 different combinations you can say, so in which they can travel from one side to the another side. So, even this problem, this all 10 points may have some issues with this concept. So, we will not uh, include this in our problem, but we will be writing them in the rules, guys. Okay. Okay. So, initially we can say that only one machine can travel from a bank 1 to bank 2. Similarly, one machine can travel from bank 2 to bank 1. Two machines can travel from bank 1 to bank 2. Two machines can travel from bank 2 to bank 1. So now we are done with all the machine, individual machine combinations. Okay. So let us continue. So machine with cannibal can move from bank 1 to bank 2. Machine with cannibal can move from bank 2 to bank 1. Two cannibals can move from bank 2 to bank 2. Two cannibals can move from bank 2 to bank 1. Only one cannibal can move from bank 1 to bank 2. And only one cannibal can move from bank to bank one. So if you observe in all these things, these two, third and fourth may not be used in an efficient way, guys. Because the, those are the things which you will be seeing rarely. Okay. So once we are going through the 
original method you'll be understanding it don't worry guys so all possible productions and few are not ideal for our condition so for this condition few of these will not be matching guys to be clear fine okay so let us continue the solution guys so now i'll be discussing the way how it is going to work guys so that you'll be having a clear idea okay so for these kind of problems there will be many solutions guys your friend might do in around 10 steps but you may take 20 steps so like that it depends on your thinking skills okay okay so initially this is our start state and this is your bank guys so i have represented bank one bank two and a board position so that will be clear so this is our state number fine okay so let us continue so initially at the start it is triple m and triple c here there is nothing and bank one so initially i am traveling one bank and one sorry one machinery and one cannibal to the other bank so the rule is five so we traveled them so now your boat is at bank two so now you need to get the boat back right so boat will not be coming automatically guys you need to have something inside it driving it so that's the reason why let us send the missionary okay so i sent the missionary on the other side so the rule is number two so after that i moved the rest of two cannibals to the other side so that rule is seven so after that i brought one cannibal this side for our boat driving okay so after that i took two missionaries that side so the number is balanced there okay so after that i brought back one cannibal and one missionary to here okay so this is my way of approach guys you may have a result differently it's fine okay so after that again i traveled two missionaries onto the other side so the cannibal strength is less it's fine so after that i traveled two cannibals and i kept one and i brought one so in that way i have just traveled with the cannibals from here on so i hope everyone got a small idea so here i'll be taking cannibal so that it will be clear so i took a cannibal and i brought one cannibal so I, I dropped two cannibals and i took one more cannibal and i brought it here so just to go through the points guys so that you'll be having a clear idea so at the end we reached our final goal goal load so i hope everyone got a small idea on these two problems which i have discussed so in the next lecture we'll be going through the state space problem and we'll be discussing about eight puzzle problem guys which is one of the most interesting problem like there are many applications or games in your mobiles right now on this basis thank you thanks for watching